In this video, I'm going to derive the formula for the derivative of a to the x. The first thing you want to do here is get creative on how you want to rewrite a to the x. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write it, write it in this form, e to the ln of a to the x. So e and ln, we know that's going to cancel out, and we'll get a to the x equals a to the x. Both sides will be equal. Then what I can do is the x I can bring down in front of the ln, so a to the x is equal to e to the uh, x is going to come down in front, and then I have ln a. So now I have both of these will be the equivalent form. So this is what I'm going to do now. Uh, this is the form that I want in order to take the derivative of both sides. So I want to do the derivative of a to the x. So I'm basically going to take the derivative of both sides, e to the x, and then I have ln a. Okay, so that's what I want to do, take the derivative of both sides. This, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it because eventually we're going to be solving for that. That's what we want to find, the derivative of a to the x. Now, when I do this one, I need to use the e to the u times u primed formula. So this derivative is going to be, uh, so I have e to the x ln a, so e to the u, and then times the derivative of the exponent. Now what do I have here? I actually have a constant times x. ln a is a constant, so I can just write that as ln a. This part, I'm just going to go ahead and change it back into a to the x to get it into the more familiar form. And what do we get? We get a to the x and then times ln a. So that is going to be your derivative. Derivative of a to the x is a to the x times ln a. Equivalently, I could also write it this way. If I have a to the u, then this is equal to a to the u times ln a, but then you also have to multiply it by the derivative of the exponent. So this would be what it would look like if you have something inside like, you know, maybe it's a 2 to the x squared or something like that. That's going to be the formula that you want to use. So now that we've taken a look at both of these forms, let's take a look at a few examples. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the derivative of a to the u, uh, we'll do a couple examples here. So the first one we'll do, y equals 8 to the x squared. So the formula is for a to the u, derivative of a to the u, is a to the u times u primed times ln a. So we're going to do that. Okay, we have a to the u, which is just our original one, 8 to the x squared, times the derivative of u, so the derivative of the exponent, derivative of x squared is 2x. And then we have to do ln of a. The a is the base that you have. So this is going to be ln of 8. So now it's just a matter of rewriting it. I'm going to put 2x ln a out front and then just multiply that by 8 to the x squared. It's not really any more you can do with that. So this is your final answer. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, here's one more problem that we'll do that involves the formula for the derivative of a to the u. We're going to have to apply that here, but since there's two things multiplied together, the whole problem is going to be a product rule. So let's start by doing the product rule here. Product rule says you take the first thing, that's x. I'm going to label these for you as we go through. So that's, that's our f, that's the first thing, times the derivative of the second. So this is our g prime we're doing now. This is our a to the u that we have to do. So to do that, you're going to do 6 to the negative 2x. That's a to the u. The next thing is the derivative of the exponent. So derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. And then after that, you have to put natural log of the base, which in this case, base is 6. So this whole thing here is the g primed. Plus the second thing, so second thing is 6 to the negative 2x. This is your g and then times derivative of the first. In this case, x is our f, derivative of x is just going to be 1. And that's your f primed. So now we have all the components of our product rule. And the last thing we're going to do now is just do some factoring. We do have a common factor, 6 to negative 2x. We can pull that out. So 6 to negative 2x 
will come out front. And then whatever's left over, we have a negative two, an x, and natural log of six plus, and then here we just have a one. So you can either leave your answer in this form if you'd like to switch the order and make it one minus two x ln six, that's okay as well.